I, um, there's so many things that I, I, I want to share with you. Um, some of the behind the scenes stuff. I came here in 1982 and this church was a faithful central Bible church, Baptist church. As a matter of fact, it was faithful central missionary Baptist church. In about 1986, the Lord dealt with me in a personal way about, about the direction he was about to take this church. And uh, about 1986, we began a shift um, corporately and theologically and spiritually. I was um, I was at a a prayer conference in Anaheim, the Anaheim Convention Center, and a man who became a friend of mine was leading thousands of people in in praying the Lord's Prayer. And I went by myself, didn't have any, went sitting in a room with thousands of people. And, and as we began to pray this prayer, I, I wanted more of God. Does, does that make sense? I, I wanted more of God. And up in row, I don't know, 25, 30 or something, as I began to worship the Lord and praise the Lord, words became to flow from my spirit that uh, the Bible calls them unknown. And it really means unknown in the sense that um, you didn't prepare, you didn't take a lesson in it, you know. Um, and that began my journey of of life in the spirit and the gifts of the spirit. Okay. And those gifts included speaking in tongues and a language that you did not learn. And I began to share that with this house and within a period of time, we, 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 we strive to do and to be what that book said. we eventually shifted from being faithful central missionary Baptist church to being faithful central Bible church. It was, was it in the Bible? Is it in the Bible? That's what you want to know. Is, is it in that book? Is it in that book? Um, and that began the journey that shifted the atmosphere of the house of being open to a fresh outpouring. Um, it caused a lot of disturbances in this city and I, we, we were put out of some conferences and put out of some conventions. And matter of fact, they, they put me out of one convention I didn't even know I was in. And, and they did, they did. And so this atmosphere of worshiping and praising the Lord and uh, of freedom, she talked about freedom of, of expression, um, a non-judgmental freedom that allowed me to praise God the way I and, and you praise God the way you did, and yet we all praise them as one. Okay. Um, and so... Um, this, this atmosphere of praise and prayer um, began to shape the identity of this church and, um, and that's a part of our journey. Some of you may have wondered how do we get that name? Well, that's, that's where it came from. Okay. Um, 